Hello friends! My name is Josefa and I'm so glad to see all of you. I hope you can join us each week on Thursday at noon for a different story time and activity. To get started, we are going to sing our welcome song. For those of you that um, are not familiar, it goes to the tune of This Old Man. Can you all count to three with me? You can also clap like this and sing along if you'd like. Here we go. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Round of applause, my friends. That was excellent. <laughs> this week, we will be reading The Book Hog, written and illustrated by Greg Pizzoli. Now I'm going to read the words and I'm going to need your help with the pictures. The book hog loved books. Do you like books? And he had quite a few. Look at all those piles of books. He loved the way they smelled. And the way the page, the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the one with pictures. <laughs> he picked them up here at a yard sale. <gasps> and there, look at that, in the trash can. <gasps> Anywhere he could find them. But the book hog had a secret. Can you keep a secret with me? Can we all go, shh, a big secret. Are you ready to find out? The book hog, he didn't know how to read. He had never learned. He was surrounded by books, but the book hog couldn't read a single one. Oh no. The book hog went to bed every night without a bedtime story. Hmm, so sad. One morning, he went out looking for more books. He came to a long, low building and he smelled some books inside. Can you spot it? Hmm. He snuck through the stacks, adding several books to his pile. Where do you think he is? What does that look like to you? But then a soft voice said, would you like to join us for story time? <gasps> Just like what we're doing right now. It was Miss Olive, the librarian. What kind of animal is Miss Olive? Do, 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 an elephant. Pick out a book and I'll read with you. The book hog blinked. Can you all blink with me? Blink, blink. Then he swallowed. You'll read a book with me? Of course, said Miss Olive, do, 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 as many as you'd like. This gave the book hog an idea. Wait here, he said. He went home. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And he came back with some books. Look at that giant pile. Some are even falling down out onto the street. 
Miss Olive led story time. Do, 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 do. And now, children. And the book hawk listened closely. He heard so many stories. Some funny. Ha ha ha. Some sad. Some kind of in between. Look at all the different animals listening to the stories. Can you spot and name every single animal that you see? Over time and with practice, the book hog learned to read on his own. Oh no, should you be reading while you're driving? No, it's making this owl very grumpy. Slow down. He grew to love books even more, not just for the way they looked and felt, but for the stories they told. And yes, the book hog still has lots of books. Can you count all of these books? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. You can count them on and on. Figure out how many books he has in his collection. <laughs> but even though the book hog has lots of books, he always brings them back. Back to the library, to Miss Olive. A book fair this Wednesday. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Round of applause, everyone. You did a great job listening. Now, it was really fun to look for pigs and hogs in our Met collection. Um, we're going to take a closer look at this one pig that comes all the way from Asia, from Indonesia. Can you take a closer look with me? What do you think the pig is made out of? Can you imitate the pose of the pig? What are the things do you notice? What are the things can you find? I notice the pointy ears and I also notice there is some kind of necklace around the pig's neck and I also see tusks coming out of the pig's mouth. <laughs> Take one more closer look and see if you can find any other details in this pig. <laughs> All right, well, I would love to do another song with you. I'm thinking of doing another song that has to do with farm animals. So, we know there should be a pig on our farm. What other farm animals are there? Do you remember any other farm animals in the book? I definitely saw some chickens. So let's have a pig and a chicken. And then for our last farm animal, what should it be? Hmm. Should we have a cow? Okay, let's go over all of those animal sounds. So, the first, being a pig. How does a pig go? Boink, boink. <laughs> Very good. And then for the second farm animal, chicken. The chicken's gonna go cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> and then for our third and final farm animal, the cow. How does a cow go? Ooh. Oh, right, my friends, let's count to the number three and sing our song about our, our farm animals. Here we go. One, two, three. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck here. 
there, cluck here, cluck everywhere, cluck, cluck, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. A round of applause my friends well done you can keep singing that song at home and come up with as many different farm animals as you can come up with <laughs> now before we say goodbye we do have a fun activity for you to do at home we ask that you take a whole bunch of different drawing papers and that you fold them in half like this and you crease it down like this. And you can even ask your grown up for a stapler so that you can staple the bind like this, almost like a binder. And what you can do at home is create your very own book. Now, if you don't know how to read or write, just like the book hog, that is okay. We are all learning. You can fill the book with lots of pictures or make a picture book and fill up these pages with as many pictures and words as you can. Um, remember, on the front cover, you wanna make sure you have a book cover. You wanna also make sure that you write your name because you are the author and illustrator of your very own book. Um, and then I welcome you, once it's all complete, to have your own story time and share with your friends and family uh, virtually. <laughs> or at home. All right, my friends, well, that is all we have for today. We hope that you join us next week, uh, next uh, Thursday, for story time. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>